Here's the field one, Scarface Al Capone, owned and trained by George Clegg, Nick Clegg in the driver's seat. Number two is When the Laughter Stops, owned by Bernie and Deb Paul, Ronnie Roberts Trains, John Roberts Drives. Three, Best Life, owned by 5012 Stable and Richard L. Morris, Southern Ledford Trains. Note the driver change here, Tony Morgan Drives, number three. Next in the post parade is number five, Dr. J, owned by Jim Ballinger and south of the tracks racing, Brett Ballinger trains and drives. Six, XFL, owned by Carol O'Brien, Dennis Lures, and Tony Munoz, Eric Plowman trains, Patrick Berry driving. Here's number seven, Stone Cold Fever, owned by Jay Sundin and Scott Krug. Jay Sundin trains, Brent Holland drives. Here's number four, Raspberry Twist, owned by Fighting Major Stable, Homer Hochsteller trains, Daryl Bussey driving. And rounding out the field, here's number eight, Tuffy Town, owned by Wendy Hudson, trained by Vern Von Traeger, and driven tonight by Walter Paisley. They'll reach the gate in five minutes, five minutes till post for this evening's eighth race the sixth and final leg of the match rival wager. They're off and pacing. Best life left well for the lead towards the inside. When the laughter stops, drives out from the outside. Dr. J moves up looking for an early spot and around the turn. Best life scampers away to lead by four towards the inside. That's when the laughter stops second. Dr. J looks to drop in third. Scarface Al Capone trying to close the gap. Scarface Al Capone's off stride and having road trouble there is the back of the pack. XFL, Raspberry Twist had some trouble, as did Stone Cold Fever and Tuffy Town. They went by the quarter and 28 seconds flat. Your leader, Best Life. When the laughter stops racing second, Dr. J is third. A gap to find XFL racing fourth. That one's on the move and closing the gap fourth. Now only five and a half behind the leader. Four more back to Raspberry Twist. Followed up by Stone Cold Fever. Far, far back. Toughy Town and Scarface Al Capone. They went by the half in 58 and four. And around the turn they go. It's Best Life showing the way. Driving up on the outside. Here comes XFL. Towards the inside when the laughter stops third. Racing in fourth is Dr. J. On the outside, Raspberry Twist tries to come on fifth. Stone Cold Fever sixth. Far back out of it, Tuffy Town and Scarface Al Capone. They're at the top of the stretch. Best Life on the inside. XFL on the outside. Heads apart off three quarters. 127 and four. XFL's trying to get by. Best Life. Best Life digging down for more. XFL on a short lead, best life between horses. When the laughter stopped, followed up by Raspberry Twist. Deep stretch, XFL has the lead. When the laughter stops, now charging through the inside second. XFL in front. XFL won by almost three. When the laughter stops, second. Best life third, and Raspberry Twist was fourth. Going into the winner's circle as the official winner, 6XFL. XFL owned by Carol O'Brien, Dennis Lures, and Anthony Munoz. Eric Plowman trains Patrick Berry, the winning driver. Two winners tonight for driver Pat Berry. XFL, an Illinois bred four-year-old gelding by the big dog out of the annihilator mare to the extreme. Exact to 62, $16.20. Trifecta 623, $77 even. Superfecta 6234, $377.80. Pick three here, 746, three of three, $53.80. As soon as we get confirmation from the mutual department, we will announce the official payout on the match rival wager. The final score was Daryl Bussey, 50, Walter Paisley, 30. 50 to 30, that is the final score. Number one, Daryl Bussey has been declared the official winner of the match rival wager and will have the official payout for you in a moment. Ninth race, no changes, exacta trifecta, superfecta, pick three, and late daily double wagering. No changes in the